Welcome back. We are continuing on. We're gonna head towards Puzzle 5. Not sure where the Prometheus Spark is just quite yet, but I'm sure we'll find it eventually. Oopsie. Ah, this works too. <laughs> What's going on up here? Okay then. Here we go. Puzzle number five is called... Nuisance. about. Oh, that's, uh, hmm. Oh, that's their ultimate goal. Okay. Their ultimate goal is actually just a straight shot from the fan here, which means this is their ultimate goal in a way. Interesting. Is that it? Is that it? Really? No. Okay. No, actually. Not sure how this will work. Maybe. Not sure if that's intended, but I'll take it. Wasn't even my first idea. New interface content, huh? Places of Longing Athens. Picture? To understand what humanity is capable of, what it means to flourish, we have to look at the Golden Age of Athenian Democracy. The list of geniuses who lived in Athens at this time is so long it's almost inconceivable. Heracles, Sophocles, Esachilus, uh, Phidias, Euripides, Herodotus, Thucydides, Plato, Socrates, Socrates or whatever, Hippocrates, Aristophanes, Aristotle, and the list goes on. These are people who changed world history. Without them, there is no strategy in us to inspire Alexander Drennan. Without them, we do not exist. Was it a perfect time? No, undoubtedly not. But listening to flaws obscures the greater truth. Given the opportunity, given freedom and resources and space to grow, human beings are capable of incredible things. It would mean everything to me to walk the roads where these people once walked, to stand where they stood, and think about the world as they dared to. Yeah, but remember... Careful not to romanticize the past too much. Not everything's been figured out yet. Alright. Six is in this direction. In this direction we shall head then. Elements. Isn't that interesting? Here's our ultimate goal. Excuse me? Why, hello, sir! <laughs> you appear to be stuck in the puzzle! 
Oh, goodness. Wait, what was that I saw? Oh, that's just some... some of the bush shrubbery stuff leaves growing on the side. Okay. Oh, we have two. A red one and a blue one. Interesting. Where is our blue receiver, though? I mean, blue... Oh, there is blue emitter. Duh. Where do you go? Do you go straight across, or do you turn? Do they both turn? Maybe they do. Okay, it turns. Whee! Okay, this feels like an escort machine, because it's just barely not the same speed as either of my speeds. You're taking me on a little adventure, huh? Are you serious? Really? I have to get up there somehow? <laughs> okay, I didn't know that even wouldn't even an option. So much for the music. Yep. But it does update over time, that's good. I generally did not know it was an option, because I'm pretty sure I tried it before, and that's how I accidentally softlocked my game. <laughs> What do you want from me? Okay, well something weird's happening there, but... Clearly, I do not understand. Maybe I have to break a box out of a puzzle and, uh... Try what I was trying to do back in episode 3. <laughs> uh. Alright, let's go back to that puzzle we were in. We can get the spark done later. Can I walk across this? Yes, I can. That's good news. Okay. <laughs> well... That certainly answers that question, doesn't it? Yeah, okay. Yeah, makes sense, okay. What am I trying to do again? I guess stack them? Yeah. Evidently I just need to stack them. Is it really this easy though?
I suppose so. Alright. <laughs> An easy one. has a remarkable gift for designing these trials. But then, she did have to overcome Elohim, whose very purpose was to design trials. Right. Puzzle 7, Breach. Ooh. Ooh. How curious. Puzzles where the solution occurs independently of yourself. An accumulator. We need to ride this one to victory, apparently. I suppose we could do this if we wanted. Oops. Yeah, so that's the way to get red. Hmm. And then what? Because we need blue here. But by golly. Work out for us, is it? That's, uh, that's pretty unhelpful, I'd say. Now here's the thing, can we overwhelm the signal because this one is a stronger source than going through a connector? We can. Interesting. Oh, and this needs both. Oh. Excuse me, how are we supposed to pull this off exactly? Expected. Well, let's try it the other way, I suppose. Barrier in the way. 
Let's try it without the barrier in the way. Yeah, that's... that's what I expected, to be honest. Does let us take this inside here. Maybe that's something worth considering. I think if we get in here with the accum- if, if we are in here at the same time as the accumulator when it's blue, I think that's a victory condition. The question is, how do we accomplish that condition? Perplexing. I'm curious to see what happens if I at least let this inside first. Probably bad things. Right, but I need to I need to power it somehow and Ugh. I think I've gotta have the connector in there for that. expected. That 
that works? Really? Yeah, but we need this in here. I mean, I guess we could send it in advance. How exactly? I need to invert the colors? How would I do that, though? This is no good. Yeah, because I still need blue there. Hmm. This is a tricky one. Close, but there's specifically, yeah, there's specifically no angle where we can get the to here with the connector. What a mistake it is. <laughs> oh no. I can do anything about that, but restart checkpoint.
<laughs> it gives me a jump here prompt even though I'm already on it. This one is, uh, really baffling me. Like, I know that this is a thing, but... I'm not sure how to use it to my advantage, or if it's even intended to work that way. can't invert the colors with this because how this is so restricted here. That's why we need a, that's why we need the accumulator to carry the blue for us, but like then how do we get red on this? While also having blue on that. We need like everything in here. It's like we need to bootstrap it somehow. Can we do that? Am I overcomplicating things? I think I already did this, though, at the beginning, didn't I? Yeah, now we lose access to red is the problem. get out of here, but if I discharge this, then we're real and truly trapped. Obviously, I can't just do this. It makes me walk across... And, uh, the barrier shuts off instantly. Huh. And there's nothing else in this puzzle, right? There's nothing else I can put on the button over there. Not that I would want to, because it would just conflict at the connector up there. Is there a way to actually have the connector inside with the accumulator outside? I think so. But I feel like I've tried that, haven't I? I don't think it's very helpful either. Oh, come on. Ah, uh, yeah, I heard the sparks, I just... Misunderstood. There we go. Yeah, so now we've got them soft around. Does this help anybody? Doesn't really feel like it, to be honest. Oh, what am I supposed to do? I can stand on the button myself, I guess. That's something I haven't tried yet.
Well, let's let's try it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I should have done this a long time ago. Now I can just make it stop over there and we'll be good. All right. Yeah, wow. That was the one missing piece, I suppose. There we go. Did it. I'm glad to see all those overloads haven't damaged your logic circuits. Ha 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 yeah. Eight is in this direction. So this direction we shall go. Looking on the progress here. Pretty good. Pretty good. Have I checked this out? Oh, I have not. It is easy to speak of one's principles when the world is at peace, and there is no price to pay for thoughts that stray from what is permitted. But when times grow hard, and even ordinary men are filled with mindless anger, when the face of the enemy is suddenly known to every virtuous citizen, and to question the virtuous is to be likened to Ephialtes, when every hoary old superstition suddenly springs back to life as if it had never been defeated, and all the work of the philosophers seems to have been for naught, then one may discover what one truly believes. Transference. Ah, oh, right. It's been a long time since we've had glass. Glass is just something that you can see through and it otherwise completely acts as a, a barrier or wall to everything. You can't even select through it. Yep. I think the last time we saw glass like this was in one of the first puzzles in the first area. The one that I said was the right-click tutorial. Teleporter. How does that help me? Yeah, that's about what I thought, to be honest. All right. I need to go in there. should at least try and get this into position first.
Alright. Need that anymore. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's fine. Eh, yeah, whatever. Oh, okay. I see. I see. That's okay, that's why I left it right there. At least this one's nice and easy. Of eight, two out of two, one out of one, just need the other star. And wasn't there something why do I remember something about breaking a box out of somewhere? Right, because I need it for the chasing the spark. Okay. Well there's only one puzzle I remember that had boxes and such. That had, you know, height differences and all that. I think it was one of the ones over here. Um... Nope, not this one. I think it was the next one. Here we go. Mm, this is quite a distance, though. So close. I want to try one more time because I have a feeling. Ah, oh, so close. <laughs> yeah, and that's the closest side. But here... And nope. Oh, it won't let me jump even with the script to jump! <laughs> Okay... Well... Are there any, any other puzzles with boxes? Or can we jump on the railing from here? 
Oh, we might be able to get to it from here. Okay. Okay, okay. All right. things than these may yet be accomplished by those who uphold the faith. I bet this is gonna give me the same message as in that big desert world. I just wanna see it. Oh no! <laughs> okay, the collision just abruptly ends. Oh, okay then. You know, that my simulation theory of Nessus simulation layers, it's uh... I'm... I'm less confident in it, but also, in a joking manner, more confident. <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> they literally only put collision in those spots? Wow. Alright, and uh, wait, two out of two, can't do that yet. One out of one, two out of two. Let's go to the tower. How much can we explore around here? Yeah, they seem to be blocking me off quite effectively. Exploring the rest of this island that the tower is on. Alright. This is the last time we will speak, Creature of Clay. Together, we have told the stories of ancient gods and heroes. But the golden ages of the past are distant. The gods have retreated to their high places, and there are no heroes amongst men. In days gone by, I was renowned for my riddles. But you, Creature of Clay, are a riddle without an answer. Interesting. Options are I will find my answer. I don't need an answer. Existence is enough. I have an answer. You just can't see it. What kind of 
Ex excuse me, what kind of responses are these? No idea. Let us hope that you will. Farewell, creature of clay. Remember my stories, and do not let the flame burn you. is an unsettling amount of energy. I would hate to see what would happen if one of those beams was aimed at something else. Yeah, well, don't aim it at something else then. <laughs> it's as simple as that. Alright, we're done here, so we can move on. The new area. Maybe just barely get started into it before the episode ends. <laughs> Anthropic Hills. Here we go. The next area you're going to is... Honestly, it's better if you see for yourself. Oh, is it supposed to be all foggy like this? Oh! Wow! Can I do for you? I don't know if I got through to Athena. Things are going very wrong in this city, and she has to do something about it. Does she? Who else are they going to listen to? Well, I don't know. How about you? I I'm an explorer, Cornelius, not a leader. I don't know how to convince anyone. So? Do you think Athena and I are somehow different? We're just people, Byron. We're no wiser than you are, just a little older. What's to do and see? I guess it's another one of the, the kind of restrictive pathfinding areas where it's kind of easier to go in order. Is that? Explore around and then do puzzle one, I suppose. What is this? Oh, it's the new puzzle element, I bet. Yeah, okay. Oh, 
All right. Universal activation. Hmm. <laughs> oh, that is interesting. Yeah, so this just needs to be bootstrapped, okay? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, and that works fine. Alright. Well, this is interesting. I struggle to think of how to create puzzles with that. I just wanted to say that I appreciate the work all of you have been doing. I know I'm not a natural leader like Byron, but it means a lot to me that you've stuck with me. Didn't Byron just say he wasn't a leader? <laughs> oh, Byron. Hey! How do we get down there? Can we? I mean, that looks like a stratton to me, but... Could also just be some colorful leaves. Difficult to tell. Hmm. And it's quite a constrained area. Puzzle 2 Chain Reaction. Isn't that curious? to each other. Okay, so it does show me with icon, a little white icon, it shows me what'll be affected by it. Okay, 
now there's a bit of overlap. There we go. Did it! I had a feeling that's what you had to do. <laughs> well, this is interesting. Uh... I don't think I'm supposed to be able to get up here. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> we can keep that in mind for later. Right, well. Thank you all for watching. I will see you all in the next episode. Goodbye!